Well, hello YouTube, this is Thomas Judge, back once again with another instalment of my series of tutorial videos about how to get comics custom printed or custom bound. This one is specifically more about custom printing, as are the next few tutorials, um, because it's going to be about how you can get a digital copy of a comic and get it ready to get printed. So with no further ado, let's dive right into what you need to do. Um, here we start with an issue of Taskmaster, this is from 2003, um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to show uh, what you need to do to actually convert this into a digital version. So opening up there, you can see the staples in the center. And this is where you need specifically a staple extractor. Like I say, they're very cheap. You can get them from any stationers. And what you need to do is very carefully use them to remove the staples in the middle. I will say at this point in the video that what I'm going to be showing you is actually me doing it in quite a rushed, uh, relatively sloppy way because this is a comic um, that I'd actually already previously used in a, in a custom print and a custom bind and I just went out and bought another issue and this is just me doing something notional to show you guys what the process is. Um, ideally, I, do, I, I find that doing this whilst I'm being filmed is not something that makes it easy to do it because I normally do it much more slowly with my face right up against the paper, etc, etc. Anyway, so with the staple extracted there from the centre, turn it over and use the staple extractor to slowly peel them out here. Some people online might recommend using something like a, a razor or a pair of scissors or something like that. I don't. I say use a staple extractor. It's a tool designed specifically for this. Uh, you can just use it carefully. You can... Um, very carefully lever the staples out and only leave the smallest possible holes in your comic. So that's what I've done here. Um, like I say, slightly rushed, but I just wanted to show you guys what you need to do. Remove the staples and what you have then is your stapleless comic. Um, now this is the first important thing you need after you've got your comic itself, is you need it in a stapleless format so that you can access all the pages individually and that's because what we now need to do is separate those pages really carefully so just showing you there that's what they look like and there are the pages within and obviously obviously everything now is quite loose um, and just there so I pulled out the center page there showing you that you can see it's an advert which I'm not going to be scanning or including any kind of custom bind um, I, in fact, hate having adverts and things like that in there because I find them really jarring and disconcerting. Um, but yeah, so we've got an issue here. I'll lay it there. So you'll notice there I'm pressing down the spine. That's because once you've taken the staples out, you can actually really flatten that spine really sharply. You see here my scalpel set, uh, purchased from a local shop. Um, what I'm doing here, I'm pulling out the normal scalpel most people would use. You see it's a triangular scalpel blade, like a medical scalpel blade. Um, a lot of hobby craft places will have these sorts of scalpels with the triangular blades. My pro tip is not to use these, because I find the triangular blades tend to snag on the paper. What you want is the one with the rounded tip. So you'll see here, I'm using the one with the rounded curved tip on the scalpel blade, and that will lead to a much easier, much cleaner cut. Now... I'm going to try to show you over the next minute or two exactly how this looks and how it works. But like I said, it's not ideal to try and do this whilst being filmed because the um, camera tripod massively gets in the way. The lighting's a bit of a hassle, etc., etc. So like I said, this is the notional one to show you exactly what it looks like when I'm doing it. Normally, I spend much more time in it. I have my nose right up to the paper and the blade, and it takes me a good minute or two at least um, to split a single page. So here's another page. Again, that's me pressing down the corner. It's worth doing that a couple of times, making it as um, sharp and simple uh, to separate as possible. On some older comics, um, that actually helps them start to split immediately anyway. And here I am, again, with the scalpel, just very carefully, with the right amount of tension, cutting there. And here's another issue. Again, pressing down on the spine. Uh, 
and again using the scalpel to slice that there. Now you're going to see here I'm going to change the angle I'm doing it at and the angle I'm approaching it at a couple of times. Feel free to do that whilst you slice this because what you want to do is to have it sliced as neatly as possible which might mean changing your position and moving the paper around. Take your time doing it. It's the sort of thing you can easily do while you're watching something on Netflix or while you're listening to a podcast or something like Omnibros or something like that. Um, so just take your time doing it. It's something that's easy enough to do in an evening. And like I said, just be careful with the blade and make sure that it doesn't slip on the paper or, in fact, into your skin. So there are the issues uh, there. There's some more pages. There's a front and back. One thing I would say is it's really important you keep the order of these together because especially once you separate and split all the pages, which would be double pages, into single pages, it's really easy to get the order mixed up. So whereas I'm just kind of messing around with them here, when you do them properly, what I tend to do is have the comic in the middle and put the left-hand pages on my left, the right-hand pages on my right as I slowly go through it. Here's the pile of the finished comic. It's all um, 21 or 22 pages of Taskmaster, issue one. Fan them all out there. You'll see they're all individual pages. They've all been sliced. They've all been separated. Now, if you're going to have this bound, this is what you would give to your binder. Your binder would need it separated in this way before they can glue bind it or sew bind it in any way. However, for the purposes of what I'm doing today, I'm going to be scanning it. So um, you still need it in the same format. And ideally, you need it in sort of the cleanest um, way possible. What we have here is now an image of what it looks like in GIMP. And GIMP is something that I did mention to um, the, the group and the people listening in a previous video. Um, GIMP is a free image manipulation software, which you can use to tidy up and clean up the images. You'll see here, I'm just going to go into the image section and the scale image tab. And if you click on that, it will show you a variety of options. Now, I'm going to go into a lot of stuff over future videos on this about how to clean up the images, how to crop, change, move around, all sorts of things and resize them. Um, but the only thing I'm going to point out here is the resolution it was scanned at. This was scanned at 144 dpi, which I find to be sort of the optimal Goldilocks zone for getting anything printed. Any less than that, it starts looking quite grainy. Any more than that, and your files become ridiculously large and unwieldy. So... What I would recommend doing is when you get the individual pages we just saw, when you put them in a scanner, scan it at 144 dpi. It doesn't matter if you do it at more than that, you can always scale it down later in GIMP, and I will show you that in a later tutorial. But for now, for today, what we're looking at are getting those single issues together, slicing them into individual pages, and then ultimately putting it into GIMP. All right, that's as much as I'm going to do today, guys. Um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, the next tutorial video will be dropping um, probably not next time around, but the time after. Um, thanks for your support. And as always, please support the channel by checking out No Gods or Kings on Amazon.com. That's the episodic prose novel that supports the channel. You can pick up the first um, episode there, Arrivals, for less than a dollar, and it'd be really appreciated and really supports the channel. Thanks. Until next time. Stay classy.